Well, hello world, it's me, Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness, coming to you today with our back to school, end of summer, five minute meals, quick, easy, and simple. So what I'm gonna make for you today is something that we call frozen to finish, and I'm gonna do a delicious salad. And seriously, you're gonna be like blown away at how fast and simple it is. So for my uh, Salad Master family, I am using a limited edition piece today when I'm cooking and it is a beautiful five, four and a half quart brazier. So I'm gonna jump right in and uh, we're gonna start out, I'm doing a, like I said, frozen to finish and a salad. And I, I preheated my skillet and I've got some frozen chicken fingers, okay? And so I'm handling chicken, I'm simply going to Throw those little guys right down in there. I should hear a nice sizzle, like so. Super fast, super simple, and this is going to be a dish, quite honestly, that your kids can help you make and that they'll absolutely love and enjoy. Now, this is one that, you, you know, if your kids won't eat vegetables, they'll like this one because you can kind of hide them if they're not helping you. I'm gonna take my onion, got a little yellow onion here, slice off the bottom, um, keep the little hairy bottom together. Take that off. I'm going to cut it into quarters, okay? And I'm going to keep the hairy part as a part of all of the pieces, and that'll make it easier for me to chop up quickly and easily on my machine, okay? So, I'll throw that under there. And I'm going to use my number two cone. You could dice it up if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it really simple and easy. Drop that in there, there we go, and it leaves the skin on. Okay. You could do the same thing, that's a release, it comes free with my machine, but you could do the same thing with a jicama or a cantaloupe or a honeydew. The key is when I'm using this, I just keep my hand flat, okay? And that makes it really easy. So just like if you're using a knife, you don't leave your fingers out, you curl them under. When you use your Salad Master machine, you leave your hand flat like you're feeding a horse, and simple and easy, voila. So I've dropped in an onion, a good anti-inflammatory food. It'll add some nice flavor. Okay, I'm going to simply throw that in here with my chicken. Okay. And then I've got some garlic. Okay. Drop that in there. That'll add a nice little flavor component to the dish. Okay. So while that's doing its thing, actually, I've got over here three different kinds of beans. I've got black beans, kidney beans, and pinto beans that I've taken, put inside of my bowl, and I'm going to add to that to give us a little bit of nutrient density in our food, some sweet potato. Okay. Lots of color, it'll be, you know, think of it like a confetti chicken bake, right? So I'm gonna throw that in there, and I'm leaving the skins on, because a lot of the nutrition lives right inside of the skins. So I've got that going. And then I'm going to drop into it. Oh, this is so easy. My gosh, you guys, it is so fast and simple to make this. It, it, it's almost mind-blowing. It should never be this easy. I remember growing up, my mother would spend hours in the kitchen. So those of you that are moms, you're super moms right now because you're working at home, you're managing your kid's school, you're oh, keeping the house clean, cooking, doing the dishes. Ah! Right? So five minute meals are like a blessing for you, right? So I've got, um, I always keep a little thing over here. This makes it easier when you're cleaning your kitchen, a little scrap bucket. Throw everything in there, simple and easy. So I've got this in and then I'm gonna take some fire roasted peppers. It's a Mexican kind of dish. So this will add a nice little smoky flavor to it. Toss those in there. And I love this, it's roasted corn. So just drop that in there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the colors are stupendously beautiful. Then I'm going to just mix it up a little bit. Okay, now my chicken is ready. So this, oh, this is, I better wipe the sweat off my brow. It's just so hard. But oh my gosh, the colors are beautiful, you guys. I mean, that right there could just be a meal. It's like a chili almost, right? You can turn that into a chili base. So I've got this. My chicken strips are ready for me to flip over. Got my little tongs. Okay, really nice. How I know they're ready is they just peel right up, okay? So I've got my frozen chicken that has a nice little crisp on one side. Got my onions going, okay? There we go. And then I will take this and I will boop, pop it right over the top. Wow, okay, super easy. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is 
Are you getting hungry? Now you're gonna love this. This, all you're gonna do is take any kind of picante sauce and just dump it over the top. You can use picante, you could use a homemade salsa, okay? You can drop that in there. That'll add nice Mexican flavors. And then I've got a little spicy taco sauce to kind of kick that up. This one I liked because it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it and okay? not a lot of carbs. So there we go. That'll add a nice flavor. And then I'm just gonna cover that and let it do its thing. I'm waiting for it to give me a nice little tick. And then I'm going to take my little onion bowl here, get a different bowl out, and I'm gonna grate up some cheese. Because that, once I get that cooking, and if you're throwing it in the oven, great. But once I get that cooking, then before I serve it, I'm going to add on cheese. Okay, now cheese, if you buy it pre-grated, there's a lot of chemicals on it. So I call it earth to hand to mouth. So the less the man touches it, the less he'll charge us and the less chemicals are put in there. So we're gonna take our cheese and we're just gonna grate it up, okay? You could use pepper jack cheese. You could use cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese. I don't know who in your house likes to cut the cheese, but there's always one. And <laughs> maybe your kids will help you. So you get kids in the kitchen helping you cook and seriously, then they'll eat the food. So lots of deliciousness going into this meal today. So I'm gonna finish that off once it, it, it gets going. If you're baking in the oven, right, you could probably do it at about 325. If you're doing it in your, uh, in your waterless cookware, you can just do medium to low, right? So once we do that, I'm gonna top it with that. And I made a lot of cheese, didn't it? It's amazing to me. So we'll just top that with the cheese once it's done. And then I'm going to throw together a really fast, delicious, salad okay so i've got my nice beautiful bowl here i've got my pre-mixed pre-washed triple wash spring mix Ooh, throw that in there like so okay save that for my scraps for later and then i will put in some celery now if we're trying to not gain our covid 13 pounds and we want because we can't exercise and we're home a lot more celery is a nice food to keep around as a snack because it's very low in calories and it's a good filler and it's full of fiber, which goes in, helps us clean out, right? Lower our cholesterol naturally, all kinds of things it can do. So we'll take, and it's also a natural salt, right? So we'll just put it on here and we'll just slice up our celery. Okay. There we go. And I leave the strings on, you could take them off, but those are kind of bitter. But you know, I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of that in here. Then we'll take and we'll add to it some cucumbers. Now, some of you may go in, well, gosh, Melissa, this is so simple. I'm like, that was the point of today's show, is to make it simple so that you didn't have to spend a lot of time cooking for your family in the midst of the night. This is something you could make during the day, right? And just have it ready. We'll throw in some beautiful cucumbers. Okay, another food that's great, so you could take these and leave them whole and dip them in your salsa instead of eating chips, okay? So that's a great way to not have to worry about extra empty calories. And then I'm going to add a little bit of green onion. I did green today instead of purple because I asked my husband, would you rather have green or purple? And guess what he said? Green. So happy husband, happy life, happy wife, happy life. It goes all ways. So I'm just gonna take when I'm using my knife, I'm gonna keep my little paws here, I'm gonna put it all together, and I'm just gonna rock my knife really easily, kind of back and forth, okay? And I'll sprinkle this straight over the top. And I'll save these later for something else, okay? And that is, oh, and I've got tomatoes too, okay? So what a delicious salad to go along with this beautiful meal that you're making. You could throw in red peppers, carrots. I'm doing kind of a low sugar thing right now, so this salad is gonna be an accomplice for my, for my um, meal, okay? And so I'm trying to stay away from like the sugars and the, the carrots and things like that. Now then, I've taken my tomatoes, which are here somewhere. There they are, okay? These are so beautiful. They came, this is a, a, a tomato. They're kind of at the end of season. Mine, we ran out, Fix It Scott's Garden is pretty much done producing, but I'm gonna chop up these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. 
and I'm just going to throw them inside of this salad to give it a little bit of color. Okay, we'll toss that up. You could throw black olives on there, jalapeno peppers, since you're going with a theme like this, right? And that is our salad. So as far as a mess goes, there's really not much to clean up. So we've got our delicious meal going here. It's about ready to click, okay? Um, just letting that go, and you guys can see it's coming along nicely. Um, I will take a picture of it and show it to you later. So when we serve it, oh, you should have smelled it when I lifted the cover. I got this wafting aroma of like the spicy chilies and deliciousness. So, whew, I'm excited. My friend Eric is going to come over and enjoy this. So I've got the delicious um, casserole on. I've got the salad, and if I'm right, let me glance at the clock. We've been going for, oh my gosh, 14 minutes. So if I weren't talking, literally, we could have had this on in five minutes, and we'd be eating it about 20 minutes later. And if you have friends that you know that are struggling in the kitchen, send them to my YouTube channel. Have them subscribe and follow me. And also have them um, like us on Facebook and follow us because I'm launching a series of five-minute meals that are healthy and delicious for you and your family. We can get the kids involved. And when you register in advance, you will get the recipes and you can shop and, and cook along with us. I've got a lot of great classes coming up. Check out the website. This is me, Melissa Curry. I'm done for the day and I'd like to thank you guys for being here. Bye for now. Well, you can talk because I'm going to dub over the top of this. with